Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. Welcome back to Everything Arsenal. I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope you guys have been enjoying the international break. Probably not really, but let me just say, hopefully you've been enjoying the break. Away from Arsenal, away from football in general. Uh, international football is quite boring as always, but hopefully you've been enjoying the break. We are back now, new week, still one week to our next game. We are not playing over the weekend. Our game is actually on Monday. Our next game is actually going to be on Monday, and after that is going to be on Friday. So no Arsenal games over the weekend for the next couple of weeks still, but hey, no problem. At least Premier League football will be back. So let me know how you guys have been feeling. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Arsenal's next four fixtures. Last time out when we did this, we took a look at Burnley, Norwich, Tottenham, and um, Brighton. I even put a poll in the community tab and you guys said we were going to get around 10 points and you actually spot on. We got 10 out of 12. After this video, I'll also put a poll in the community tab. Make sure you head over there and vote whatever poll I'm going to put over there. Probably how many points we will get from the next 12 points. So let's take a look at our next four fixtures. Make sure to comment down below how many points you think we'll get from the next four fixtures. In case you don't know which fixtures we have, I'll take it through them. So I'll, I'll make sure to smash the like button as always, and then let's get straight into it. The next fixture that Arsenal have is Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace are actually below us, but so far this season they've managed a good win against Tottenham, very, very good win. It's Odson Edward has been great. They will be traveling to the Emirates Stadium, but one thing you need to know about Crystal Palace, we haven't actually done well against them at home recently. In fact, we haven't beaten them the last three times they've come to the Emirates Stadium. We've lost one, we've drawn two. The one that we lost was, I probably imagine it was Emery's last game, if I'm not wrong, Premier League game. We lost that. Uh, we, 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 did we lose a draw? I can't even remember. I think we drew the game. I think we drew the game. Um, was it 2-2? The previous season, they beat us 3-2 at the Emirates, which cost us Champions League football, basically, because we ended up only one point from the top four. And last season, it was a dull nil-nil draw. So this is a game we need to be careful with. This is a game we have to try and win. We Not even try, we have to win. Considering we drew the last game against Brighton, this is almost like a must-win game. Because from the next four fixtures, I imagine this and um, the last one I'm going to talk about are the, probably the easier fixtures. Not easy, I'm just going to say easier fixtures than the ones we have after Crystal Palace. So we have to try and get three points from this one. After Crystal Palace, we will be facing Aston Villa at home. Again, another home fixture. The next four fixtures we have, three of them are at home. And from, if we add the Carabao Cup game against Leeds, we have four, five games at home. So between now and the next session break, four games are at home, which is quite good. We need to create, we need to have a good home record. So far, I think so good. We've beaten Norwich and Tottenham recently at home. We've also beaten, beaten Wimbledon. I put Beaton and Wimbledon in one. Beaten Don. Wow. That, that's something else. I knew the international break has really got into me. But we need to win both of these home games. Now, Aston Villa is not an easy team. I think Aston Villa is a tougher test than Crystal Palace. As you saw, Aston Villa this season beating Man United away from home. They even took Chelsea. What's up with that? I also put Chelsea and penalties together. Wow. They also took Chelsea to penalties. Chelsea to penalties as well. They also took Chelsea to penalties as well um, in the Carabao Cup and also played quite well against them in the league, although they still lost, but still a very, very tough team to play. And you'll know from the recent results against Aston Villa. Last season, they absolutely trashed us at home. This fixture, they absolutely trashed us 3-0 at home. And you we went to their place. They beat us home in the way, basically. And even the previous season, they beat us at their place. So the last three games we've played Aston Villa competitively. They've beaten us in all three of them. There was even a friendly match last season where they beat us again. So the last four times we've played Aston Villa, they've beaten us in all of them. A game we need to be careful with. But if we can get back-to-back -back wins there, it would be amazing. I think that would probably take us to top six. If we can get six points on that, that is, that is taking you to the top six. And then after Aston Villa, I don't know how you see this fixture. Do you consider Leicester a very tough fixture these days? Or do you think uh, they've started the season poorly or no matter how, however they've started the season, you still think they're a very good team? Again, uh, apart from last season, the previous seasons, we had a terrible record away at Leicester. We know Jamie Vardy has a magnificent record against us. 
But last season, when we traveled there twice in the Carabao Cup and in the league, we managed to win both of them. As you can see, William there celebrating. William probably had his best game in an Arsenal shirt against Leicester City. That's that's one of the only good memories we have of William in the against um, in an Arsenal shirt. It was against Leicester. Leicester, I wouldn't mind if we don't win the Leicester game. Leicester is never easy to play against. I think Vardy has an incredible, incredible record against all the big teams. I think he scored almost 40 goals against the big six teams, which is incredible. Leicester last season, they beat Tottenham. Um, they also beat Chelsea, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they did. They beat Liverpool. They beat City by five goals at the Etihad. They also beat Tottenham at, at Wembley. I think they drew with us or beat us. I think they even beat us at the Emirates Stadium last season. So they beat all the top six teams last season as well. This is not an easy team, so we definitely need to be careful. But I wouldn't mind if we drew or something. I would, definitely wouldn't mind. I really do want us to go unbeaten again for the next four fixtures. It's easier to say than done. After that, we have Watford. Now, Watford, obviously, again, another team that is below us. All these teams I've talked about are all below us, apart from Aston Villa, who are on the same point with us. They are literally above us on the same points, just better goal difference. So after Leicester, we will be playing against Watford, a team we have to beat. So far from the promoted teams, we lost to Brentford and we beat Norwich City. So we need to make it two from three. Watford, not an easy game. Obviously, you need to watch out for the likes of Sir. But I think at home from these four fixtures, I think it's probably the easier one. They now have a new manager, of course, so I don't know how that will work out for them. New manager, new manager bounce with um, Ranieri. Again, we have to wait and see. So as you can see, next four fixtures against Crystal Palace, Aston Villa, Leicester, and Watford, three of them at home. Um, so let's put so let, let's see, let's see the fixtures on screen nicely in, on, on a bigger screen. So from those fixtures, why I really want from those 12 points, I really want at least 10. This is why. Because after Watford, we have an international break. And then after that, you can see we will have the big boys. Liverpool away. United away, Everton away. We'll also have West Ham on the horizon. We cannot afford to lose any of the four games. Because after that, if we let's say if we go and we lose to Leicester and lose to Aston Villa, all of a sudden that will be like 14th place. And then you end up facing Liverpool and United at 14th place. That would be very scary. And the imagination of that would be very difficult because if you lose down to the relegation zone again. So we have to try and get some points from all these next four fixtures. So... My prediction, I think Crystal Palace will beat them, not comfortably, maybe by one goal. I think the same will happen against Aston Villa. I think the Leicester game could be a draw, unfortunately. And um, the Watford game, we should win. The ones we might really lose are obviously the Leicester game and the Aston Villa game. So we need to be careful. In between, we have a Carabao Cup fixture against Leeds, which we should definitely try and win. So let me know in the comment section which of those fixtures you think will win. Um, versus Crystal Palace, versus Watford, versus Leicester, and versus um, uh, which team have I forgotten? Aston Villa. Let me know. So make sure to smash the like button. We are back now. The preview will be out soon for the Crystal Palace game. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe. And I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.